Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's next for you in love. So this is a reading for singles and couples. This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle. There is a lot of attraction, a lot of excitement, a very strong connection, a very strong romantic energy here that is circulating around you or that is coming in towards you. You've got both the devil and the lover's card. It could signal to us that there may be a, a connection that starts off as lust, okay? The two of you will share a very sexual, a very strong sexual energy chemistry here like you won't be able to keep your hands or your eyes off each other you will gravitate towards one another like uh, moths and insects to a flame here like you've never felt this way about anyone before you've been sure you've been attracted to people and sure they've been attracted to you but this is on a whole nother level this is intense this is like you know you will want each other badly and it's not just a physical attraction Although I do be believe that it will begin this way. It will begin between, like, with lust. But lust is an infatuation. Sorry, lust and infatuation is very important. It's the glue that keeps partners or the glue that keeps people together in a relationship. So to me, it feels like what begins as something very passionate, very energetic, um, very hot and heavy, I feel like. Something that begins as lust will eventually turn itself into love, will blossom into love, into a very strong romantic connecting, romantic connection, a, a relationship here. So give it time. If this is a connection you already share with someone, nurture this connection, give it time, because, you know, this stems beyond the physical attraction, if you want it to. If you want to keep it at that, you know, as a casual arrangement, or has a no strings attached type of a connection, great, because I feel like the passion is there, the intimacy is there, and if that's all you want out of it, then, you know, keep at it. But if you want something more, it is going to require a little bit of work. It's going to be a bit of a building block here, isn't it? But you have, the both of you have what it takes to be able to nurture this connection and to be able to, you know, grow on, to grow your feelings and to be able to grow on this as well. It feels like, the, my goodness, it, it could be you and it could be the other, the other person. Notice how both Adam and Eve here in the Devil and the Lover's card, um, how they mirror each other. It's almost like they're mirroring each other, right? It feels like this is reciprocated. This person feels whatever it is that you're feeling, like the sweaty palms, weak at the weak, oh, sorry, weak at the knees, butterflies in your tummy kind of energy. This is someone who... They feel what you feel. In fact, when you're around this person, or when you're around this energy, take um, note next time you're with them, because you'll notice that this is someone who, who will mirror, or who mirrors your body language, and that's a huge indicator of an attraction, of being attracted to this person. Um, so someone here is mirroring you emotionally, internally, as well as externally, if you, if you will notice their body language here. And it feels like the two of you are addicted to one another, consumed by one another, intoxicated by this passion, by this attraction. It's like you can't get enough of them. They can't get enough of you. They love being around you. You love being around them. You love the way that they make you feel. The way they love, they love the way that you make them feel. It's intense. It's some pretty intense stuff. In fact, for some of you, I feel like this has the makings of a twin flame connection. 
the emotional intensity is like any other and yeah you've lusted and you've been attracted to people before but not like this you haven't because this feels on a whole nother level it feels raw it feels intense it feels real so for a lot of you, I do feel like this is a twin flame. It is intense and it is going to take you on a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Let me tell you that. It's going to be very full on. And in fact, at some point or another in this connection, those feelings are going to get way too intense for you to deal with. And for your partner, your connecting energy as well here. It's just going to get to a, to a point where you or they might become so overwhelmed by the emotional intensity that they'll have no other resort but to pull away. And th that's not because they want to distance themselves from you, but that's because they feel like they're drowning and they're really consumed by all of this romantic energy. And, you know, it's unfamiliar territory. They've not felt this way before, so they will pull away at one point or another. I'm also seeing that with the Ten of Wands, someone here is keeping to themselves. Okay, someone here is they could be it feels like someone here is a little bit guarded or a little bit closed off. If that's the case, it feels like keep at it. Someone here eventually will open up. Okay, so they're playing their cards really close to their chest, they're a little bit closed off, they're a little bit emotionally reserved, but it's going to take time. I'm also seeing that with the Ten of Wands energy. If this is a new energy or if this is an existing connection, it feels like there's room for growth. It feels like there's room for much more, the potential for this connection to be much more than it is as indicated by the sprouting ones. But just a word of warning, it cannot be the one person carrying this connection, the weight of this connection, because the weight is too heavy for one individual to carry. It takes two to be able to have a healthy relationship here. So make sure you're not the one that's over committing yourself here. Or your person isn't the one that's overextending themselves here. You know, it's it's a two-way street. And if you're driving down a one-way street, you're likely to hit a dead end. So do be careful of that. I also see that for some of you, there is an abundance of, with the Empress energy, an abundance of emotions, an abundance of... Um, it feels like there could be more than... Because this is a card of choices as well, right? For some of you, it feels like you will be at a point, at a bit of a crossroads, where you're going to have to choose between either two very different romantic, connect, like connecting energies, or two very different romantic connections here. And the choice, it, the overall choice is you having to choose between the instant gratification, like the instant, you know, emotion, the pleasure that one provides, versus the long-term benefits that the other could give you. Okay, so ultimately the choice is going to be up to you. But you will have, I feel like there will be a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of happenings here in your love life. Um, it'll be buzzing with activity, there'll be a lot going on. And you're going to have to decide between, you know, what it is that you want in the short term or what it is that you want in the long term. So an abundance of emotions, an abundance of decisions here. I'm also seeing that you're finally putting you first, Nine of Pentacles energy. You're finally putting your yourself first. You're prioritizing what it is that you want and you're not as worried about, you know, if it's going to rub someone the wrong way. I feel like you're putting your happiness first. Okay, you're making sure that you're happy. You're making sure that you're, um, you know, that you're feeling good about yourself and you're feeling good about the connections that you're pursuing here. And, you know, you've got high standards here. You're not lowering your standards for anyone. You're finally doing what you should have done a long time ago, basically. I'm also seeing, to me, it feels like, just going back to these choices, it feels like both these connections, okay, both these romantic connecting energies or these relationships, connections that you have, both have immense potential and they both have their pros and they both have their cons here. One feels like it's more like passionate, there's a lot more lust, infatuation, intoxication involved, whereas the other, and it feels more 
I'm gonna say like somewhat inconsistent. It feels like it's not built on, it's not built to last basically. Whereas the other feels like it has a more staying power. It feels like it's more, there's more commitment or more potential for commitment. There's, you know, there's room for more than just attraction and, you know, lust and passion. Um, there's you getting to really know one another and re you really caring about one another and potentially, you know, um, building and expanding this connection in the future. So ultimately the choice is going to be, you know, up to you and whatever you decide on. And obviously, you know, it's the choice I feel like that you're going to end up making is one that is going to fit is going to align with where you're at in life, both physically, emotionally, and mentally. And you know what? There's no right or wrong decision. Because even though this one feels very um, heavy in lust and passion, I don't think it's... To me, it doesn't, despite the energy of the devil, I don't think it's... Toxic? I don't. It's not coming up that way for me. I do feel like they have some, you know, they're a little bit kinky. They're into, you know, some um, fetishes here. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like, you know, your passion, you know, your lovemaking will be um, very passionate, very intense here. But it doesn't feel unhealthy. It doesn't. So d don't be put off by the devil's energy. If anything, it feels intoxicating and consuming. And yet too much of anything, you know, can make you an addict here. So, um, you know, just, I guess, all in moderation, right? Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.